G'day mate, welcome to Factorio with me, Judy. The mod I've actually chosen to look at this week is called Merging Chests. Now, it's a fairly simple mod, doesn't have any tech research you've got to do, does have a couple of settings. We'll look at those really quickly. Has three options for which chests are mergeable, being wood, iron, or steel. Um, has a warehouse threshold size, so that is when it uses a... Um, a image for a warehouse rather than a trash dump. It it's it maxes out at five, um, but you can set that higher if you want a bigger, fatter warehouse. We'll get to that more in a minute. Um, it does have a maximum chest and width height, uh, width and height. Yep. Um, and this is as the mod developer says on on the um, the mod portal. It's more to do with a RAM limitation than anything else. You can set that as high as you want, but you are going to use more RAM just loading up Factorio. So use with caution is probably the best idea. Uh, um, uh, again, maximum chest area comes back to RAM usage. Um, I have no idea why you'd want a whitelist merge chest, but we'll just leave that there as an option that was probably requested by somebody. Um, you can multiply the inventory size of the chest. Again, the mod developer does clearly label that, you know, use with caution. You know, you might lose stuff if you unmerge the chest. Um, and you can max out the size of the inventory. Um, I've already found out that, you know, using this chest, the, these, using the mod that the inventory can become very, very, very large for no real reason very, very quickly. Um, anyway, so that's the settings. Let's get into the actual mod itself. Um, down here in our little toolbar, we have merging chests as an actual option. Um, so if I click on that, I can then merge, say, two chests together. So one steel chest looks like that. Two steel chests looks like that. I have no idea why there's a cat. But, you know, I assume I accidentally did it for a good reason during my pre-trials. Probably to make sure that if I cap something that it got carried across when um, I then change the size. But you can see I, I, I've got a chest that's twice the size. Um, I can hold down shift and unmerge the chests and get the two chests back together. Um, I can merge chests this way instead if we choose to. Oop, I don't want to show, show off a warehouse just yet. Um, but yeah, lots and lots of different options and combinations on how you might want to merge chests. Now, if you go for anything that is a square-ish image or anything that's two, two tiles by any tiles, you actually get a, a warehouse image instead. Um, just a nice little feature to, you know, change things up. If you go over five by five, which you remember was a setting actually in the mod settings, you change over from a warehouse to what's uh, officially called as a trash dump um, of six by six tiles is how big my one is. If I copied and pasted a few of these together, unmerge the whole lot and then remerge the whole lot, I could have a really, really large trash dump. Um, but as you can see, we can get warehouses all different shapes and sizes. Um, it, it, it's a really nice little feature. And yeah, by simply holding shift, I can unmerge things. Um, if I merge something together and let's put some stuff in the warehouse and then whoop, wrong button, that button, unmerge it. It all automatically ends up the top chest. Um, it's just how Factorio works. It always starts at the top left and fills its way down. Now, I see the main feature of this mod to be, you know, something like this, where I have a train that I have hooked up with six unloads because prior to the belt upgrades, that was technically possible. It might not be possible now, but we're going to use it as an example anyway. Um, and if I bring my train in, you can see straight away, because I've used different speeds of belts, I have uneven uh, unloading on my train. So obviously the top chests are going to fill up a lot faster than bottom chests. And if I even hook up the output, we can see right here that these two chests are going to be always empty. These chests will probably keep up, maybe? No, they're red. So again, we're going to have gaps on the belt. And the blue belts are going to go as fast as possible. And they'll probably eventually um, slow down and we'll end up gaps the whole way through. Um, but yeah quickest solution for to have you know this fix where i don't have 1k ore up here and you know 800 down here not not as much as i'd like down the bottom um because i've got uneven unloading is 
If I just merge the whole lot together, I end up with one chest, one very large chest, which everything can now take from evenly. Um, same here, because I have, you know, gaps and, and, and all sorts of stuff everywhere. Um, we can see that, you know, there's excess ore here at the top, but there's obviously not, not enough at the bottom. If I merge these chests together, I'm going to end up with a perfectly balanced system between the top and the bottom. Um, which means all these all these output belts are now perfectly balanced. Which also means something like this, a simple 4 to 4 balancer can be compressed down to this sort of size. An 8 to 8 balancer, which unfortunately I don't have a blueprint on me. Nope. Um, I don't have a, a blueprint on me, but it is roughly, you know, this sort of size could be brought down to... Nope, that's already eight. Uh, could be brought down in size to unmerge those, remerge them together. Boom. That's now an 8-8 balancer, which is much smaller than this monstrosity we have here. Um, so I think that's where the real advantage of, the, of this mod would be. Uh, being able to merge things together to have nice even unloading and then even uh, balancing along the bus. So I've hit, I, in my case, I've just used the default loaders that are in Factorio. There are plenty of different mods. I think I've even highlighted a few that, uh, a few mods that do, a few loader mods that do, uh, do that are in a one by one tile rather than a two by one tile. Uh, but same story, I could just hold down shift and unmerge this together and get Lots of different, you know, obviously the whole lot was already full, but you know, oh no, no, the last couple of chests weren't quite full. And then I could merge the whole lot back together and we get a, we get the train unloading evenly again. Anyway, that's it for this mod. As I said, um, the link to the mod is down in the description. Um, I think the mod did mention that you can have robots build these sort of chests. Um, I haven't actually tested it myself, but if the mod creator says so, I'll take their word for it. Um, either, you know, even if you can't, you can always just, you know, copy and paste the chest down and then run the merge tool over them after the fact. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you um, like the video. And as always, if you want to look, check out the mod. Link to the mod is down in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. See you next one. Bye.